Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Krista here, aka Bahamanista, and today's video is a little bit different. I wanted to show y'all how I get rid of costume scars because I got some really bad ones over the holidays. Bruising and scarring can come with the territory. I have a lot of old scars from Carnival and Junk Canoe, but these were pretty visible and significant enough that I needed to do something. I went home for the first Boxing Day Parade in Nassau, Bahamas. And I participated in the Junk New costume, full Junk New costume. And I was with the Valley Boys, Valley Oyama, Valley in your belly. Gone to carnivals, I've done Junk New before, and I always tend to get scars. <laughs> sometimes from wire bras, sometimes from even like tying the costume too tight, sometimes from regular backpacks, and but I really got like really major scarring from my junk new costume just because it was so heavy it's a part of the territory it is what it is so here's the scarring in question i have it on both shoulders i asked my social media community to help me out because i was like you know i only have like a month to go <laughs> before trinidad carnival so we're at week one and i wanted to show you guys some of the products i bought and then also my kind of routine for the scars you can see the scabbing has definitely come off, which I'm very excited about. It wasn't necessarily painful when I started to get products to try to heal the scarring. It was just kind of very scabbed, a little inflamed, um, but that was it. So let me just jump into the products. I was told to get natural aloe vera, but time. And this was next day delivery on Amazon. So I got this Aloe Derma Pure Aloe Vera Gel. I haven't really been using this just because it's not painful. It's not irritating me. Um, it hasn't been inflamed. I don't see any redness or swelling, but I did start using it um, like maybe for two days and I kind of slowed down just because I noticed that the skin wasn't really broken anymore. It was just kind of healing and there was a scab and the skin was still dry. It wasn't moist or anything like that. So I absolutely love any lotion that has sunscreen in it. And my friend Kathy told me to get this Aveeno lotion, S60. SPF. I just didn't want to put so much layers on my skin. So I'm so happy that this has like sunscreen in it. Every time I take a shower, I just put it all over me and I definitely concentrated on the areas. I think I'm just going to stick with this. I did not want it to overcomplicate it and make it. A I was also told to get some sort of like raw shea butter. This is very earthy. I have an issue with it, but just like, you know, <laughs> I just wish it smelled a little bit better, but it's not like I've been used shea butter before, but yeah, anyway. I've been putting this on directly onto the areas, not sometimes my entire body, depending on how I feel, but mostly just directly on the, the areas of my skin. Krista from the future here, I just realized I didn't tell you all the name of this product. It's called Dermaca. She said it has Arnica, which is especially good for like scar management and bruising and whatnot. So I looked it up on, on Amazon and I looked up the reviews and all of the reviews were really, really good so i was just like you know let me just try it so i just kind of put a layer on both sides and my back once i you know lotion up and moisturize last but not least i used the bio oil which was recommended a couple like several times from several people i love the smell of the bio oil i love it love it love it i wish it was a little bit bigger at the bottle i'll make sure to put all the links for all these items in the description box below. This is my absolute favorite. And I make sure to try to put this on at least twice a day. So it's been a couple of weeks and literally scab is definitely gone. I've been using the bio oil, the Dermica, uh, Aveeno SPF lotion. It feels really smooth too. I mean, you could tell where the scar is obviously. It is February 5th. I just wanted to give an update about the scarring. I don't know if you can see, but this is my left shoulder and it's definitely the skin barrier is healed, <laughs> but it's like, no, it's very smooth. There's no like abrasiveness or anything like that. It's just that scar that's right there. And I've been also continuing to treat it. And this is the right side. So this one had like two marks and you can kind of barely, it's, it's, it's fading. So that's good. They are looking really good. <laughs> I'm very excited. Also kind of switched up the routine a little bit. So I stopped using the Dermaca. I didn't really think I needed to use it anymore because they said it was more for like um, bruising and stuff like that, not so much scars. But I really feel like that helped a lot with just speeding up the process. I'll actually leave a link to 
a doctor talking about the effects or the benefits of using Dermica for like bruising and scars and stuff like that. I think that really, really helped. I also think because I started right away, but I wanted to show you guys some other things that I've been using. So I also have the Faded Brightening and Clearing Serum. And it's supposed to balance, smooth, brighten your skin, fade the look of your most stubborn marks, scars, and spots. One of my followers actually re recommended this, but I had been using this as a topicals insider anyway for my face, and I really liked it. Looked it up, I looked up a few reviews in terms of like hyper pigmentation on like skin, back acne, scarring, discoloration, all of that. And I see that a lot of people actually use this for their skin. I started just applying it on just the spots where the scars are and I haven't really seen a significant difference yet but I'm gonna do a follow-up video in about a month see how the scars are looking basically moisturize first with the lotion SPF or the shea butter at night this goes on next I let it dry some I don't use this every day recommendations were to try it out one time a week and then bump your way up but I think a few times a week is fine for me I don't really need to you know like use it religiously religiously and my last step is the bio oil so I try to put this on morning and night for sure and it's definitely I think this is significant too but I think with the actual bruising and stuff, I had the Dermica, which is like an all natural plant based product really, really helped. I haven't had any reactions from them or anything like that. I really like my results so far. And I think in a month's time, I will definitely keep you guys updated. So like, follow, subscribe. If you want to know more tea, I also talk about Caribbean carnivals travel and what's not. I think this is definitely a costume hack, especially post carnival because Every kind of light go to, I end up getting bruised or scratched. Yeah, if you guys have that problem too, <laughs> comment in the comments below and let me know.